sadly, it's been more common, a more common sight off of our coast and around the Bay Area. Dead whales washing up ashore. 24 so far this year to be exact, 10 of them were likely hit by ships. And with whale sightings increasing too, a group of scientists is using underwater microphones to try to figure out how to better protect these majestic mammals. Our Kara St. Cyr tagged along. If it flies or if it swims and we see it, we're going to be documenting it. Uh, Ray Duran dedicated his entire summer to the whales of the San Francisco Bay. Uh, basically, this right here uh, is a very highly sensitive hydrophone system. His ragtag group of scientists is using the height of technology. This would be the spotter sound buoy. To learn how the sound of boat traffic affects whale behavior. We've, uh, we've experienced uh, uh, a large number of gray whales that have come into the bay, uh, certainly in 2025. Uh, and they've had a tough time. Whale deaths in the San Francisco Bay surged in 2025, leaving scientists baffled. Vessel strikes were among the leading cause of death, accounting for 30% of the fatalities this year. All right. Yeah, you can hear it. You can hear the vessel now. Duran and his team think the steady hum of a boat engine might be to blame. They rely on sound for so many things, uh, uh, communicating with one another, navigating in murky waters, uh, but, they're, uh, but with that such great, great hearing, we want to know why are whales surfacing or swimming in front of vessels uh, and everything, which doesn't make sense. There's only one way to find out. Hydrophone in first. Weekly, Duran's team lowers yep. two hydrophones into the depths to record chatter yep. underneath in hopes of Check maybe hearing the whistle of a whale. All right, and away we go. The recordings he gathers will be archived oh. and saved for future study. Duran's teammate, Feruze Gokce, says policymakers are interested in what they find. So, our uh, old study is going to help the policymakers. The, you know, different stakeholders like ship operators to uh, really manage their activities in the Bay Area. While this day yielded no whales, Duran says the information gathered is still valuable and a cause worth studying. On each outing, the team records a 30-minute underwater sample.